Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about these NFT multipliers. Everybody, when they first get into the liquidity pool, has a 1x NFT multiplier. And the 1x multiplier have an unlimited capacity. The 1.5x NFT multiplier that you will get after six months will have a capacity equal to the last 24 hours prior to its minting of the amount of liquidity that you were providing. So if it was a thousand T-bill that you were providing liquidity with, then that NFT, 1.5 NFT, when it is minted, will have a maximum capacity of a thousand T-bill. And the same holds true when after a year your 2x NFT multiplier is minted. It too will have a capacity equal to the amount of liquidity you were providing in the 24 hours prior to it being minted. So let's say that you had all three of these after a year and the 1.5 had a thousand capacity maximum and then the 2x had a thousand capacity maximum. So essentially if you had 3,000 in liquidity, let's say the day after your 2x was minted, you tripled the amount of liquidity that you were providing then the 2x would be applied to 1,000. The 1.5x would be applied to 1,000. And then whatever was left, in this case 1,000, would be applied, the, 1 point, or the 1x would be applied to the remainder. Okay, remember what I just showed you because it's going to come into play coming up. So let's move on. Okay. Now, here I am on Thetaswap.io, and I am on the Pool tab, and it shows that I have liquidity, or I am providing liquidity, a, a T-bill slash T-fuel pair, to the pool. And you'll notice up here it says liquidity providers earn a 0.3% fee on all trades proportional to their share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool and accrue in real time and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So what that's saying basically is whatever that 0.3% that goes into the pool in the form of fees and is then split by all of those who are providing liquidity, that's accruing in real time, but in order for you to actually claim it, you have to withdraw your liquidity. However, that is going to be just a small portion of what you can earn. And what I'm gonna show you here is if you go over to tbill.io, which is here, this gives you a whole bunch of information on what's going on and in order to get what I'm going to show you you have to activate your LP staking on tbuild.io you only have to do that once once you've done it you don't have to even if you add more liquidity you don't have to come over and do the activation it's real simple you just go to tbuild.io you connect your wallet your MetaMask wallet and then you click on the activate and uh, this circle will turn green you can't see the green color because my monitor is set on high contrast mode and so it messes with the colors but it's necessary for me to be able to see it due to my visual disability that I have to deal with but at any rate so you scroll down and it gives you all kind of statistical information here and here one thing to point out is it says 
time until 1.5 X mint is 170 days okay so when you initially get into liquidity pool you have a 1.0 X multiplier and your earnings are 50% APR and 64.82% APY and that's calculated in real time so once you have an additional NFT multiplier which in my case I will get it in 170 more days you will then be earning 1.5x on your T-bill. It's a little bit more complicated than that which I'm not going to go into in this video but let me point out something. Right now with just the 1x multiplier this is showing the earnings history and it's always just for the last 24 hours and the reason it's only for the last 24 hours is because whatever you earn is paid out in T-bill at midnight UTC so like for me I'm six hours ahead of UTC so for me that's 6 p.m. in the evening whatever I have earned in the previous 24 hours ends up paying out to my wallet and I can take it and do whatever I want to with it so that's over and above the fee that it talked about on the uh, theta swap so in my case okay what it's showing here is for the most recent 10 minutes which is 1450 UTC I held 1234.9 T bill and then if you go over here to this next column here you see that my liquidity also is 8584.7 T fuel and the dollar value of my T fuel is going to be kept relatively the same as the dollar value of the T bill so the algorithm automatically keeps those two in balance once a day it balances them out but you'll notice these numbers do change a little bit every 10 minutes I can't tell you why that is exactly but uh, that's the case but the TVL which stands for total value locked is two thousand nine hundred and eighteen dollars and that is arrived at based on the prices of T bill and the price of T fuel which is shown up here to the right top so you'll notice the MTVL that stands for multiplier total value locked and that is the same right now because I don't have but a 1x multiplier but once I have a 1.5x multiplier then that number is going to be different than the TVL number because the MTVL is what it's worth with the multiplier that you have which is going to be different for one person versus another person and then this final column over here is the amount of rewards that I have earned in that 10 minutes which is 0 0.023 t-bill okay and so that accumulates throughout the day until it's finally paid out at midnight UTC so down here it's showing the daily total reward that I have earned so far since the last payout is 2.097 T-bill. So it'll be a little over 3 by the time it pays out tonight. Okay, so you get that every day. So uh, if you're looking at, you know, getting into something that's going to produce a income this is it just do it and uh, you can you know I've got relatively small amount it's, uh, valued it you know just right around three thousand dollars says two thousand nine hundred and eighteen so imagine if you threw say ten thousand dollars in there you'd be earning even more 
Now, the one thing is you'll notice these columns here. There's 1x, there's 1.5x, and there's 2x. And that is relative to the multipliers. Okay, so in this example, I have a total of 1,235.4 T-bill. And I have a 1x multiplier, and I have a 1.5x multiplier with a capacity of 1,000. So as you can see, under the 1x column, it shows 235.4 T-bill. And under the 1.5 multiplier column, it shows 1,000. So what happens is the 235.4 is multiplied by the price of T-bill and then the 1000 is multiplied by the price of T-bill and then multiplied again by 1.5 and then those two are added together and then the T-fuel amount is multiplied times the current price of T-fuel and then it shows under the MTVL column 35 hundred dollars and 32 cents whereas under the TVL column it shows 2918 and so the MTVL column shows the value after the multiplier is applied and the reward is paid based on what is in the MTVL column so hopefully this helped you to understand how you can earn from providing liquidity on ThetaSwap and using a T-bill, T-fuel pair and also how the NFT multipliers affect what your earnings are. Well that's a wrap for this presentation so cue the music.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.